What's up guys, it's Brian here with Digital Dinos, and I just got my copy of Game Informer with the Halo 4 article, so I'm gonna basically give you some of the campaign details that weren't so apparent during the leak. Um, beforehand, when you start up the game, it gives a rundown of what happened prior to Halo 4, basically a prologue like they've done in uh, more recent games like Dead Space 2 and uh, Assassin's Creed and whatnot. The game resolution now stands at 720p rather than 1080p like the previous games, so hopefully the um, increased lighting and shader effects will help uh, make up for that. Uh, game Informer said that the game did look very good up close and far away, so, uh, you know, I guess we can hope for the best with that. Um, Chief's new suit, uh, people were wondering how he got that. It is basically uh, because while he was in cryo sleep for the years that they were on the ship, Cortana was working on him, modifying his armor and whatnot. Uh, Forerunners were also at war with humans over 100,000 years ago, apparently. They defeated us and de-evolutionized us, uh, turning us back to the Stone Age. They said that will play a part in the storyline. Uh, shield worlds were used to take refuge from the Flood. These will play a role in the rest of the trilogy also. And uh, that the world you're on is a shield world, to get more into that in a sec. Uh, for some reason, when you're on the ship, uh, Master Chief comes across an elite charging after him with an energy sword. He wonders, you know, why or why are these guys fighting us? We had a truce with the Covenant. And Cortana suspects that maybe it was just a rogue soldier. But you later see an entire fleet of them against you, so that's apparently not the case. Uh, you later land on a world called Requiem, which is a Dyson Sphere. Basically, this is a shell surrounding a planet which is immune to the effects of Halo. Now, there's no sky in this world. When you look up, you literally just see the inner shell. So I'd imagine it'll be a lot like the levels of Halo 2 on the uh, Covenant ship High Charity. Uh, there are many Forerunner landscapes, or Forerunner structures across the landscape, as well as some uh, wildlife such as a floating squid life form they said they saw uh, floating up above in a forested environment. And uh, some new enemies to the game, the main antagonist. They haven't announced what it is, but they said they are going to be working together and are much more intelligent than the Covenant. Um, multiplayer details, basically the same thing, but I'll go over it again for those of you who missed it. Multiplayer is on a giant ship called the UNSC Infinity, which is the main hub for multiplayer. A game informer compared the customization to Call of Duty and Battlefield, and Brad Welch of 343 stated, and I quote, You're going to start off as a recruit and proceed through the ranks. As you rank up, you'll unlock more abilities. You gain Spartan points, which you can use to purchase items in your loadouts. You can construct these loadouts around your preferred playstyle. Uh, it said in the article that you can switch between your multiple customized loadouts in the heat of battle. And uh, again, no firefight mode will be implemented in the game, and the elites are no longer playable. Uh, back to Spartan Ops, like I was talking about before, it's basically like Spec Ops from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it's going to be a weekly DLC with five missions a piece. And it said that it'll span out over several months of content. So uh, that's good news. Um, more info will be released at GameInformer.com forward slash Halo 4 in the weeks to come. And be sure to, again, subscribe in case you want to get any of this from us uh, as soon as we hear about it. Uh, so that's basically it, you guys. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Time to get me some meatloaf.